friends, you are watching a Root Iron Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I will show you CMD analysis and optimization of exhaust gas coming from exhaust manifold of a petrol engine. We have already conducted one CMD analysis and optimization of exhaust gas system consisting of catalytic converter and muffler etc. In this analysis, we will consider direct exhaust gases from the engine itself and we are not considering any catalytic converter or mapla etc. After this analysis we will go for parametric study within different input variables and finally we will go for some optimization. So without wasting time let us start this analysis. This is the model we can see. Uh, initially we have to provide a closed geometry and for that we have already provided these different leads at the inlet locations we are having four different entries these are the entries and this is the exit location okay let us start this flow simulation now for initiation of this flow simulation environment we have to start with wizard let's start from wizard and the project name we're keeping as the default project name as project one next we'll consider unit system as si and temperature will be degree centigrade and pressure will consider as megapascal next it will be an internal analysis and we will consider heat conduction in solids and definitely gravity will be involved and we can see the direction of gravity from this drawing itself like if you drag it you can see gravity will be actually in y direction so we can provide along y direction gravity will be minus nine point 81 meter per second square and along the z component it will be zero next in this exhaust gas it will be having different percentage of carbon monoxide carbon dioxide water vapor and nitrogen as the percentage of carbon monoxide is very less so we'll neglect that carbon monoxide by considering mainly nitrogen carbon dioxide and water vapor let us select those gases carbon dioxide will be there water vapor is there nitrogen is also there so we are selecting three different gases carbon dioxide water vapor and nitrogen different percentage of all these things will be there it will be having 70 percent nitrogen 15 percent carbon dioxide and 15 percent water vapor will be there as percentage of carbon monoxide is very less it is near about two percent so we are neglecting carbon monoxide next the material will be composed of alloys let us select stainless steel 321 we are considering stainless steel 321 for this material next default outer wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering next thermodynamic parameters pressure will be 0.1 megapascal and temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade and similarly solid parameters that means initial temperature of solid will be 20 degrees centigrade and concentration will provide different percentage of these different constituents of gas carbon dioxide will be 15 percent water vapor also 15 percent and nitrogen will be 70 percent so let us finish this one this is the computational domain you can see all the iterations and calculations will be carried out inside this domain let us hide this domain and apply boundary conditions Solid materials have already been provided so we can apply boundary conditions. For applying boundary conditions it is always suggested to have a segmented view of this model in which we can select that specific locations in a better way. So we can cut this model across front plane. Let us cut this one. We have cut the model across front plane. Now we want to apply boundary conditions that means velocity and temperature of exhaust gases from these four different entry locations boundary conditions insert boundary condition and we want to provide a specific velocity of 60 meter per second from the inlet locations we have to provide the inlet velocity of 60 meter per second and let us see thermodynamic parameters it will be approximately 700 degrees centigrade and we are considering pressure equal to 0.1 megapascal substance concentration will not change 
what we have decided before it will be exactly the same carbon dioxide will be 15 percent water vapor 15 percent and nitrogen will be 70 percent next one we have to select that locations for these exhaust gases let us select those specific locations we can select all the locations simultaneously so inlet locations have been selected done next one we have to apply another boundary conditions at the exit location so we can see the complete model this is a complete model now insert boundary condition it will be atmospheric pressure at the exit location so select select other and lead number 15 of exhaust manifold we have to select green check so all the boundary conditions have been applied properly now we can select some goals select surface goals and have a lot of things like pressure temperature and velocity at the exit surface so we'll select average temperature of feed average total pressure and velocity at the exit location so select select other and it will be lead number 15 green check so we defined our goals and let us run this solution it will take some time for getting all the results let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we'll see the results and go for analysis the solver is finished after 110 numbers of iterations we can see the results from the solver window itself it is showing that after 110 numbers of iterations average temperature fluid at the exit location is 666 degrees centigrade and average total pressure is 0.11 megapascal and the velocity at the exit location is 286.7 meter per second so we can see that temperature reduction is very less initial temperature was 700 degrees centigrade and final temperature at the exit location is 666.85 degrees centigrade that means we can have a reduction of temperature is approximately equal to 34 degrees centigrade and pressure that doesn't change that much but velocity change is very high we can see that initial velocity was 60 meter per second and at the exit location velocity is approximately five times compared to its initial value velocity at the exit location is 286 meter per second okay the next one we can see those results from the cut plots and goal plots let us close this part now we'll see the results from cut plots results see the cut plots insert cut plots and we want to see from front plane let us see the velocity of these flue gas particles green check here yeah, velocity of flue gas particles cannot be seen because the model is not transparent for viewing this fluid particles inside this manifold we have to make this model transparent okay so let us make that model transparent The model is transparent right now we can see the velocity pressure temper etc across front plane from the cut plot one let us see the cut plot in the form of animation you can see the velocity distribution across this exhaust manifold it's clearly visible that velocity at the inlet location is very less it is approximately 60 meter per second and finally while it is going out from the exhaust it is in the range of 300 meter per second okay let us clear and hide this part next one we want to see surface plots insert surface plot and use all phases and it is evident that at the surfaces velocity will be definitely zero let us see these things it's clearly visible velocity at the boundary it is zero and if we see the inside portions inside it is not clearly visible because it is not transparent one we can make it transparent and see the visibility like inside we have different velocity maximum velocity is in the range of 300 meter per second okay and then if you see these locations this is not even transparent we can make this one transparent and see here also 
so at the inlet locations velocity is 60 meter per second and at the exit velocity is approximately 300 meter per second okay next one what we'll do is we want to see the dynamics of these flow particles inside this exhaust manifold so we'll clear and hide this part let us clear and hide next one we want to see flow trajectories so we'll cut this exhaust manifold from front plane in which you can select the location in a better way flow trajectories insert flow trajectories and instead of pipes we want to see in the form of arrows only we want to see velocity and numbers instead of 20 let us make this one 200 but to select the locations all the different phases phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 all are selected green check we can see the dynamics of these flow particles let us see these flow particles in the form of an animation flow trajectories let's play we can have a smooth transition of these flow particles uh, because of better design we don't see any kind of circulation or backflow etc from velocity graph it is clearly understood that at the junction where all the flow particles are added velocity becomes higher and color of this velocity zone is red that means its velocity is in the range of approximately 300 meter per second okay instead of velocity you can see some other things like pressure temperature also let us see temperature of fluid so we don't see that much of variation in temperature it is very little one because initial temperature was 700 degrees centigrade and at the exit level temperature is 666 degrees centigrade that means we can see our reduction of temperature is approximately 34 degrees centigrade okay let us close this part pressure also will be having very less variation let us see the pressure also let us see pressure you can see pressure variation is also little initial pressure was 0.12 megapascal and at the exit level pressure is little bit reduced the color is blue zone that is 0.11 megapascal okay next one we want to see all our goal plots so clear and hide this part and we want to see the results in the form of goal plots goal plots insert goal plots and we have three different goals as surface goals we want to see all the goals select all the goals show we can see all the goals what we have already seen from our survey into itself we want to see these results in the form of graphs that will be obtained from summary and history first one is containing pressure initial pressure was 0.1 megapascal and after 110 numbers of iterations pressure at the exit level is 0.12 megapascal similarly you can see the temperature of fluid at the exit surface initial temperature was uh, 26.85 degrees centigrade and at the indirect location temperature we provided as a boundary condition equal to 700 degrees centigrade initial temperature at the inlet location was 700 degrees centigrade and initially temperature at the exhaust location was 26.85 degrees centigrade and visible from this analysis and after 110 numbers of iterations exhaust gas temperature at the exit location is 666 degrees centigrade that means it is a reduction of only 34 degrees centigrade similarly you can see the velocity here up to 110 numbers of iterations velocity initial velocity was 60 meter per second and after 110 numbers of iterations we can have the final velocity equal to approximately 300 meter per second that means we have huge amount of increase in velocity because all the velocities at the exit location is being added up okay next one we are going to go for some kind of 
parametric study. With this parametric study, you want to have different values of results by changing input variables. Okay. So we're starting a new parametric study from solve new parametric study and we want to have design of experiments and optimization. And for that you have to select some input variables. Let us select the input variables from the boundary conditions itself. We will select as an input variable. The velocity of exhaust gas will be considered as the input variable. Selected. We have to provide a specific range of this velocity. Let us provide a velocity range from 30 meter per second to 90 meter per second. With this different uh, ranges of velocity we will get our results. And from that one, we can have a relation between the velocity and temperature. And based on that, we can go for optimization. Okay. Let us see this scenario. We're going for five numbers of experiments. Let us create. It has created five numbers of experimental data. Initial velocity will be 75 meter per second. Second one will be 45 meter per second, third one 90, fourth 60 and last one is 30 meter per second. So with different velocities we have to find out our surface goals and mainly we are concentrating on the temperature at the exit location. So we want to find out a relation between velocity and temperature at the exit location. Okay, so let us run this one. Iterations have already been started. We can see from the solar window. We have determined four goals. So we'll have four goals for each experimental data. First data is almost complete. Let the iterations move on. Whenever it is finished, we'll see the results and go for detailed analysis. Okay. Solva has finished all its calculations. We can see five set of data is available with five different input variables. We got five set of goal plots. Initial velocity was 75 meter per second and with that specific velocity we got different set of goal plots. Our main aim is to have a look at the temperature distribution at the exit location. That means we want to have a control over the exit temperature. So here in this case we will see that exit temperature and velocity. Okay. So we can find out from this data that at a velocity of 75 meter per second exit temperature is 642 degrees centigrade and at a velocity of 45 meter per second temperature at the exit location is 681 at 90 meter per second temperature is 590 degrees centigrade at 60 meter per second temperature is 667 degrees centigrade and finally at 30 meter per second temperature is 688.8 degrees centigrade it is clearly visible that at higher velocity there is a reduction in temperature at the exit location. So what we'll do is we'll go for some kind of optimization. We want to have a reduction in exhaust gas temperature with a specific value. Let us decide that we want to have a uh, exhaust gas temperature to be 600 degrees centigrade. Right. So for that we have to get a specific value of velocity. In the next analysis we will go for this goal optimization. So our main goal will be to have a temperature at the exit location to be 600 degrees centigrade. And in that case, we'll specify a range of velocity from 90 to 75 meter per second. Okay. Let us close this one and we'll go for another optimization, new parametric study. And from here, we'll go for goal optimization. And for that, you have to depend on input variables with a specific range. Let us select that input variable from the boundary condition. And we want to have input variable as the velocity. We selected velocity as the input variable. Now that to be provided with a specific range. Let us provide a range from 80 to 90 meter per second. Green check. This is the input variable. You have to select some goals and that will come from output parameters. 
lot of goals are there in this case our goal will be to have a temperature at the exit location to be 600 degrees centigrade so surface average temperature fluid we are fixing as the goal we have to provide a target value for this goal to be 600 degrees centigrade and we want to have a variation in this target value with a range of plus minus 1 degree centigrade go and check we got the target value to be 600 degree centigrade let us see the scenario it will conduct 128 numbers of calculations maximum okay let us run this one the solver window has already started iterations it is calculating the temperature at the exit location with a input velocity of 90 meter per second In the second case it will try to find the exit gas temperature with a velocity of 80 meter per second in this way it will try to minimize the gap in between and finally it will optimize our result okay let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we will see the results and go for detailed analysis iterations are over and we can see within three numbers of iterations we got our solution converged when the velocity is 90 meter per second we got average temperature of fluid at the exit location is 590 degrees centigrade and target value was 600 the second one with a velocity of 80 meter per second we got our target value that means exit gas temperature as 629 degrees centigrade with a variation of 29.10 degrees centigrade and in the third design point with 87.5 meter per second velocity we got the temperature at the exit location as 600.94 degrees centigrade which is within our specified range of goal so this is our optimum goal okay that means to have a temperature at the exit location as 600 degrees centigrade we have to provide exhaust gases from the inlet location with a speed of 87.5 meter per second okay this is all about today's safety analysis and optimization of exhaust gas through an exhaust manifold of a petrol engine if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye